to try the BTC 517 first. Okay. Um, is that done intermuscularly or sub-Q? You do not have to do that IM. You can do that sub-Q. Can it be done IM? It's just easier for me. It can be done IM, yes. Is there a pro or cons for doing IM versus sub-Q? No, no. Okay. And honestly, uh, have, have you tried the oral at all? No, I haven't. Any particular reason? Uh, injections have worked much better for me for everything. Gotcha. I, I felt my stomach has issues or what, but it just doesn't. It's not that it doesn't sit well, it's just nothing ever happens when it's oral. Gotcha. Well, the interesting thing about BPC-157 is that when you take it either orally or sub-Q, it also does help to repair the gut lining and help with gut-mediated issues. And well, I thought so, it did that with injection too, no? Yeah, no, it does it with both oral and injection. Okay. I honestly, it's actually pretty rare that I now recommend to patients to use injectable over the oral. Now, mind you, every once in a while, we've got a patient like yourself who says, look, I, I know myself, I respond much better to injections than oral. And in that case, the injections are, are, gonna, are gonna work well. However, if you look at any of the research that's been done, which granted all this done on animals, and granted we, don't, we still don't fully understand all of the breakdown metabolites from BPC-157, but all routes of administration, as long as the dose is adjusted for, are gonna be equal in terms of efficacy. So oral is equal in efficacy to sub-Q, which is uh, equal in efficacy to intravenous as long as the dose is adjusted for. So you have to take a slightly higher dose for oral just because not all that's going to get absorbed compared to sub-Q and intravenous.